Hello, I'm Dr. Nunez. I often get the question now in this uh, day and age with COVID, whether or not to get vaccinated. The short answer to the question is that when the vaccine does get offered to get vaccinated, yes, it's a good idea. Now in the United States, nobody's forced to be vaccinated, it becomes a choice. But is it the smart choice? And I think the data points pretty clearly that yes, it is the smart choice. There are two vaccines. One of them has already been approved by Pfizer BioNTech and is already being administered as we speak to some of the population. The other vaccine is from Moderna and uh, it looks like they will be approved in shortly and we'll see that one being distributed as well. The uh, CDC has uh, determined to start with the people that are in the residential care facilities and nursing homes and to vaccinate the frontline workers. Uh, subsequent groups will probably be by age stratification. In the United Kingdom, they've stratified it uh, similarly to the US and then by age usually in, in, in five-year increments, 80, 75 to 80, 70 to 75, 65 and over, and those below 65 with any um, other risk factors or if their health is compromised, and then going down in five-year increments to age 50. Below age 50, the UK has not yet determined any uh, guidelines but it's expected that they will uh, also vaccinate that population uh, once everybody else is vaccinated. In the uh, United States they'll probably follow something similar and um, it is a good idea to be vaccinated. If you look at the data and I'm going to post this below uh, from the briefing papers filed with the FDA uh, the Pfizer vaccine is very safe and it has been tested from age 16 and older and the risk of the vaccine is extremely low and uh, you have to compare that in a way with the risk of uh, the disease. So uh, in those adults, you have to look at, uh, it's a good idea, it's smart. And the older you are, especially older than 50, older than 65, or if you have other, other illnesses or health conditions that might compromise your immune response, it's also recommended uh, even more strongly that you get vaccinated. The Moderna vaccine was tested in those 18 years and older. It has a very similar safety profile and does show protection against COVID. And again, again, the risk of the disease with modern, with uh, it so far exceeds uh, the risk of, of any vaccination. So we do recommend that as well. Uh, the other thing I get asked sometimes is when uh, will you be resistant to COVID? And if you look at the data, the recommendation are two shots for either of the vaccines. Um, with, with Pfizer, it's 21 days apart to shots, and with Moderna, it's one month apart for the shots. But when you look at the data, and it's below in that briefing document from the FDA, you can see that already by day 14 after the first shot, there seems to be some resistance already to the disease. So that's a very good and very positive sign. Uh, the side effects are very similar to any side effect from uh, flu vaccines or, or things similar. Sometimes you get local swelling, sometimes you get a little uh, feeling of malaise or low-grade fever, and those things all pass. And uh, the protection levels seem to be excellent on the order of 95%. We don't know yet long-term if you're going to have to be revaccinated at some point. And uh, for those of you that are not in those first groups, you may not get vaccinated for a month or two months from now, maybe even longer. 
So you'll have even more data available to you to make your, your decisions. Again, vaccination is not something that's mandatory. Nobody's gonna arrest anybody for not being vaccinated or for not getting vaccinated. Nobody's gonna tie you up and, and vaccinate you forcibly. It's your choice, but it does, it does appear very clearly to be the smart choice. So I encourage all those to get vaccinated. Don't listen to um, conspiracy theorists that are, uh, there are no chips in any vaccine. The vaccine's not gonna compromise any fertility issues. You're not gonna get the disease from vaccine, from vaccination. So um, look at the data, the data looks good and uh, it seems to be the safest thing, the safest approach to do. Make your choice wisely. And again, in our, in our opinion, it's uh, the governments are making the right choices. I will put some links below on this. And if you like this video, uh, press the thumbs up. If you like additional videos, please subscribe or press and press the bell button to see more more videos. And again, good luck, everybody. It looks like this will be the beginning of the end of the pandemic. Thank you.